Mr. Putter and Tabby Run the Race by Cynthia Ryland. Chapter One, Find Your Sneakers. It was April. Mr. Putter and his fine cat Tabby were full of April energy. They always got extra energy in April. Flowers were blooming, birds were singing, showers were showering. April, Mr. Putter and Tabby felt it. Mrs. T, very next door, must have felt it too. She called Mr. Putter one April morning. There's a race, she said. A race, asked Mr. Putter. A marathon, said Mrs. Teaberry. Uh-oh, thought Mr. Putter. He was sure Mrs. Teaberry was going to ask him to run the race with her. Will you run the race with me, asked Mrs. Teaberry. Mr. Putter gave Tabby more cream. Aren't we too old to run a race, asked Mr. Putter. It's a senior marathon, said Mrs. Teaberry. Nothing but old people. Mr. Putter gave Tabby another biscuit. I have not run anywhere in 30 years, said Mr. Putter. I don't think I remember how to run. There are prizes, said Mrs. Teaberry. Prizes, asked Mr. Putter. Mr. Putter loved prizes. One is a train set, said Mrs. Teaberry. Really? asked Mr. Putter. With lights and switches and tunnels, said Mrs. Teaberry. Really? asked Mr. Putter again. The train set is second prize, Mrs. Teaberry said. Mr. Putter could not imagine a train set being second prize. It should be first. What is first prize? asked Mr. Putter. Golf clubs, said Mrs. Teaberry. Mr. Putter did not play golf. He had tried once, but he and Tabby kept getting lost. Mr. Putter did not want golf clubs. I want that train set, said Mr. Putter. I knew you would, said Mrs. Teaberry. Find your sneakers. Chapter two, toes and tea. Mr. Putter started training for the marathon. It was not easy. It took him four days just to find his sneakers. Then he had to work out. Mr. Putter did not want to work out. He wanted to eat muffins with Tabby. But he knew that Mrs. Teaberry was working out because sometimes her good dog Zeke ran by with a jump rope in his mouth. When Zeke wanted to play, he took things and ran. So Mr. Putter had to work out too. He decided he would touch his toes 30 times every day to make up for the 30 years he'd forgotten to run. The first time Mr. Putter tried to touch his toes, he could not reach them. He touched his knees instead. He touched his knees twice and then he had a cup of tea with Tabby. The next time Mr. Putter tried to touch his toes, he tried 10 times and he never got there but he enjoyed his tea with Tabby very much and he decided knees were just fine. Zeke kept running by with his jump rope. Mr. Putter kept touching his knees and Tabby had a lot of tea. Things were going great. Chapter three, seniors. It was finally the day of the senior marathon. Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke were very excited. Mrs. Teaberry had made special outfits for both of them. Zeke still had a jump rope in his mouth. Zeke had become very attached to his jump rope. They all drove to the race. When they arrived, they saw many seniors lining up to run. Zeke and Tabby got saddled on top of the car. Mr. Potter and Mrs. Teaberry got saddled near the starting line. I didn't know there were this many old people, said Mr. Putter. Oh, we're everywhere, said Mrs. Teaberry. Mr. Putter looked around. He saw a lot of old people touching their toes. Uh-oh, thought Mr. Putter. Everyone got in line. I hope you win that train set, said Mrs. Teaberry. I hope you come in first, said Mr. Putter. 
the horn sounded and the seniors started running. Chapter four, the race. Everybody passed Mr. Putter. Everybody except two people. Two people who tripped and fell and never got up. But everyone else passed Mr. Putter. Mrs. Teaberry was way out in front. Mr. Putter was way behind. Tabby was asleep and Zeke had a jump rope in his mouth and wanted to play. That's when the race took a turn. Suddenly there was confusion. A dog with a jump rope was running the race. All of the seniors tried to pass him. They started bumping into one another. Some of them got bumped right off the road. Some of them stopped running and started arguing. More of them tripped. But one of them wanted a train set so badly that he ran right past everybody and grabbed hold of that jump rope and held on for dear life. Zeke finally had someone to play with. Zeke was so happy he ran even faster. This made Mr. Putter run even faster. Mr. Putter did not let go. He wanted that train set. He passed one runner after another, after another, after another. Then he passed Mrs. Teaberry and then he won the race. Everyone cheered, everyone clapped, everyone was happy. Everyone that is, except Mr. Putter. He had just won a set of golf clubs that had no lights and no switches and no tunnels. Phooey, thought Mr. Putter. Chapter five, perfect prizes. But things worked out after all because who came in second? Mrs. Teaberry. So she and Mr. Putter swapped prizes. Mrs. Teaberry took her golf clubs home and Mr. Putter took home the best train set he had ever seen in his life. And for the rest of April, Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke came back from the golf course and went straight to Mr. Putter's house to watch his trains. Mr. Putter had a train hat. Mrs. T. Berry had a golf hat. Zeke had a jump rope. Tabby had a nap. And things worked out perfectly.